Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online. My name is Obago, and with me once again is... Megalomaniac. Hello, internets. Good day. So the last time, uh, we rescued some researchers who were working on a Borg Sphere, and then blew up the Borg Sphere, because why would you want to do that? Why wouldn't you blow up the Borg Sphere? Now I'm more away why... I mean, my more meant, why would you be researching a Borg sphere? Like, that just seems to be a terrible idea. Mad but that's something science. That, but that's something <clears throat> that the Romulans are doing. But instead of worrying about what the Romulans are doing with uh, Borg technology, we're instead going to uh, research what happened to the uh, what happened to destroy Romulus. Yes. We're going to go find out why a supernova destroyed an entire star system that was not in the same star system as the supernova apparently i don't know <laughs> something magic magic techno babble this is star trek there is no magic there's just sufficiently advanced technology <laughs> no, I'll just fly over there yeah i ran away from you at first so i'm a bit ahead you would scared you're gonna like rip me off <laughs> why would you think I'd do that so you're Ferengi and I'm racist you yeah. would be not like really racist just racist in this game space racist yeah like the space elf here sitting in front of the Hova system <laughs> what are they doing here Actually, really, uh, what are they doing here? Isn't I don't remember doing a mission going to Hobus on uh, the Romulan side, but I, my memory could just be shot. Hmm. You sure? I'm not recalling it. Like I said, my mm. like side could just be. Well, maybe maybe there. there isn't one for Hobus, but there are some missions for Romulans that are around here. Yeah, I mean, there's a gate. A tier five Romulan ship just sitting right in front of the Hobus. Think I suppose he could be helping his friend. Possible. Anyway. But at the same time, like there's a bunch of. Oh, yeah. One of those guys. One of the. There was a guy that had the uh, RRW prefix that was flying one of the uh, um, cash box ships. Nice. Yeah. In fact, I think it was the. Um, I think it was the uh, one that requires Lobi crystals, which means he spent a shit ton of money on that. Mm-hmm. And here we get background in case you didn't see Star Trek 2009. Yeah, you know, apparently the way that the star went supernova caused the energy to go into subspace and then travel some... 500 uh, light years away and destroy Romulus because it hates them. Yes, because supernovas can really do that. Yeah. I mean, while the stars in the sky goes out, we're all dead. Oh, whoops, the uh, the camera on Commander Karatek is a little broken. Yeah, it's like you're staring at his chest. It should be a lot funnier if it were a female. <laughs> because then it'd be like your, your, your captain's not looking at them in the eye comedically. Yeah. But. Anyway, uh, this is a very nice looking map. Yes, just think, so pretty. All it cost was billions of lives. Yeah. So we gotta go over here and see what is up with the Hobus 3 core. I'm a scientist, I can I can do this kind of stuff. And I'm an engineer. You can do this kind of stuff too. Uh, there's some weird matter going on here, so I should go. We need to do a scan and, uh, silver fragments. Yeah. Got to be prepared for them space werewolves. I actually can't remember if Star Trek has a wolf person race. I know Star Wars does. And now those oh, Romulans dear. are pissed at us. Or the, well, Remans, technically. Remans, sorry. Uh, 
Okay. Oh, whoops. You got slightly hammered there. I did. I did not get my Tykens Rift off in time to take out the torpedoes that were blowing me blowing up right in my face. Whoops. Yeah. I better... Look at you zip around. Yeah, no, I'm just making use of evasive maneuvers. Actually, let's see if I can do this weird, crazy tactic that I've been seeing people do. Well, it actually works better than I expected it would. I have to try it af after turning around, though. So uh, we, I've been playing a lot of single-player uh, daily stuff in Star Trek Online lately with the um, with the summer event going. And uh, while I've been doing that, I've also been doing a lot of queued content. And um, one of the things I've been seeing a lot of people in the smaller, more mobile uh, escorts do is things like um, just sort of zipping right up onto an enemy and then suddenly... Uh, stopping and backing up because um, yeah. I have a feeling that the reverse uh, the stop and reverse uh, commands uh, significantly slow you much faster than uh, you may have expected mm -hmm. which <clears throat> for a for a, a ship that is focused on um, focused on a lot of weapons with a 45 degree firing angle uh, being able to stay pointing at an enemy is uh, super useful. Mm -hmm. Here's some more of them. Oh, we'll just blow them jerks. up. Jerks. Yeah, like if they're gonna be meanies, we might as well destroy them. Yeah, I can be mean back. Like ten times worse. I'll not just shoot at you. I'll insult your mother. <laughs> you would. You, Mr. T, coming in telling me not to insult someone's mother. Yeah, like, why would you do that? That's just rude. I have a feeling that, uh, as well, that uh, I'm currently just not as mobile as the escorts that I've been playing. Uh, yeah, well, because that was, that was max level, probably with close to in game gear. Yeah. And probably a bunch of uh, um, I, 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 they probably have a bunch of stuff that increases uh, movement speed and mm -hmm. turn rate as well. Like it may not be as effective on a escort as it would be on a on a cruiser, but you know having a lot of uh, turn rate yeah. uh, is still pretty helpful, especially again when you're dealing with ships that are focused on having. Uh, very limited firing angle weapons. Mm -hmm. Play to your strengths. Yep. So now we have to scan a shield. Because... Oh, here it is. It's completely natural for a completely cracked in half planet to have a shield. Yeah. Hmm, this seems very suspicious. It's positive protomatter decolithium tekasite. Madness. These three, these three <clears throat> substances could be combined to create an explosive device. Hmm. So essentially they're saying that someone could have theoretically loaded these materials into a probe and shot it into a healthy star to cause it to go supernova. In other words, that's sabotage. You're being attacked. I just noticed that. I'm yeah, wondering. yeah. The, our, uh, our good friend just came back. Whoopsie. Uh, I will go help you in a second as soon as I'm going to go around this planet. Yeah, that, that would be nice. You know, one thing that kind of bugs me sometimes is the inability to, like, raise your ship on the Z-axis too far. Yeah, they, uh, Cryptic has uh, actually very intentionally limited yeah, um, I'm sure it's how far. Is, but... Yeah, like, uh, they, they have definitely been having that argument with uh, people on the forums for quite a while. Because um, th there are some ships that have canonically shown themselves to go at much deeper angles than you have seen in Star Trek Online. Mm -hmm. But um, 
Cryptic has stood by their uh, decisions for how uh, how sharp an angle yeah. um, you can go. It's, even though they, they have they have increased the angle a little bit uh, over the years, um, they have uh, they they've they've stuck to it because they want to retain the um, the impression of. Um, it being more like um, the Starfleet uh, Command old, games. Old, old, old style. Well, I guess Starfleet Command, but yeah. but those those are based on like <clears throat> old style uh, naval combat, which mm. is also what the shows have shown. Yeah, uh, the combat in them to have been. Yeah, that really that started in Wrath of Khan, pretty much. Yeah. Well, sort of the uh, Balance of Terror, which is an original series episode, that actually kind of a a submarine hunt episode, but. The, the ships being naval combat was was very much a Wrath of Khan thing. So we're now on a completely destroyed planet without any type of, you know, face masks or anything? I'm guessing we just well, have, like, well, force fields over uh, our heads or something? Yeah, if you, if, you, if you look straight up, you can see the force field above us. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, so... Well, it half makes sense. Maybe, if you say maybe so. they had some kind of terraformer on the planet or something. Uh, well, I, I imagine that uh, combined with the um, combined with the force field, they probably just have a uh, life support system. Yeah, it's a funny thing that in Star Trek, it's it's actually more efficient to add an atmosphere to a planet than to have your guys wear oxygen masks <laughs> well yes because you know, wearing those wearing those big bulky suits <clears throat> is uh, is just not fun yeah because this isn't the JJ uh, Abrams stuff where those suits are actually small and light you can race through space in them <laughs> for mad awesome action scenes yeah yeah the uh the uh, EV suits in this game are like big armored things. Yeah, they're they're like essentially armored versions of what NASA uses today. <laughs> yeah, I think they look pretty nice for the most part. They do. Um, the whole the whole uh, EV system is actually pretty interesting, and it's something that we will first see. Actually, it's Fair gonna way be a while before. Road, yeah, yeah, we we won't see it for a while. Did I say loader road? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Okay. I speak good English. But uh, the, the yeah the 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 mission that they have to introduce uh, that stuff is actually a pretty neat mission. Well, that's the only and... one that uses it so far as far as canonical missions go, right? Um, I'm trying to remember. Um. Actually, I don't know if they if there's another normal mission that uses EV suits. Maybe there isn't. No, I haven't. I haven't finished the uh, the species eight four seven two missions yet, but those predate. Oh yeah, those those predate the, the uh, mission that yeah. uh, that has yeah those 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 were long before. We're being vague and talking about stuff people haven't seen yet. Yeah. And uh, won't well, fun. And, and if they're and if they're only following it's, our videos, they're, yeah. they're not going to see it for quite a while. It's, it's essentially a grapple game where you you lock onto a grapple point and grapple to it, and then pick other ones, and you have to kind of find the right path. And it's, it's yeah. I mean, you don't you don't have to. The the grapples just make it a lot faster. Yeah, because um, yeah, because normally you essentially move it at the pace of of molasses in January yeah. in Antarctica. Yeah, like, like you are you walk because. The EV suits are big, bulky things, so of course you're not going to be very mobile in them. Circle um, straight, yeah. bitches. But yeah, they also oh, th th um, there's there's I a shoot them, but whatever. I'm there's a also helper. a bunch of yeah. <clears throat> there's a, there's also a bunch of daily content that is based around uh, areas where you are wearing EV suits. Mm. And some of them are some of them are neat. Um, 
one, like one one of them is meant to be like a group daily content area, so it's it's a little difficult. Um, so as a result, like I don't tend to do that stuff at all. But uh, recently, they actually added some of the boss fights uh, from that area as uh, um, whoops, as stuff stuff that you can do in. Uh, oh, whoops! I'm pretty sure I just Leroy Jenkins just there, but. Um, they recently added stuff from uh, from from yeah some for some uh, some of the boss fights from that area to the uh, matchmaking queue, which is kind of cool. There's something. There's well, something since I got it, oh, yeah, here it is. Uh, and I have not upgraded my weapon in so very long. <laughs> you should probably equip a new weapon. Uh, yes, I, I got that Mark Eight. Uh, phaser assault rifle. Ah, yeah, you should probably so. equip that. Yeah, let's try this this time with less incompetence on my part. <laughs> really, for hard, the most part, hard to ask you're... for, I know, but yeah, really, for the most part, what what gear uh, levels you're you're equipping is not all that important until you reach the end game stuff, uh, and even then. Um, you can get away with not having like the the best stuff. Yeah, but I went from Mark Four to Mark Eight. So. Ah, yeah, it's still a still a, a a good jump. Now we have to fix things. Because yeah, apparently they've been using this stuff for mining, but that will probably cause a terrible thing. I know we wouldn't want to destroy this plant that we're on. And apparently, material from here was actually used to destroy uh, the star and, and uh, kill everyone on Romulus. That's that's not good. Nope. Yeah, I, when, when they're, this... They're kind of dicks, when, actually. Yeah. It was, so when this mission... When I played this mission for the first time way, way back in the day, um, so, I was pretty amazed that they actually went and explained why... Uh, why the supernova occurred. Yeah, that was a, a good story thread to go for. So I don't know if you know, because you don't jump around like a spastic monkey like I do, but uh, we got low gravity on. We. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Oh, then we got to head way back over here. Or do we? Oh, no, we got to... The, the pointer arrow was just kind of messed up. Yeah, it's... It is we... a goofy thing. It's sometimes they're a little messed up. That said, I, I think a lot of modern games have kind of spoiled me by having the little trail that you follow directly. Yeah, or or, or at the very least having the uh, the directional pointers be a little bit more contextual. Mm -hmm. you know, being like, able to you know, me... being able to point you mm -hmm. along a path instead of. Just straight, yep, it is in that direction. But, like, the, the me from, you know, 2005 playing uh, pre-Burning Crusade WoW would smack me in the face and call me a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> you wimp. Uh, east Power Conduit was to the yep. east. To the Go east. figure. Follow me, uh, my, uh, my faithful Bajoran terrorist. However, would we have realized that? East. When, we... Whenever I'm playing a, a freeform RPG and have a, a random choice to go, I always pick East. Just because. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's, it's an option. <laughs> it, it was. It started in an old like tabletop game I was in, where a bunch of us just. You know, it's like you can go north or you can go east in the dungeon, and, and it just became a running gag where it's like, East! It has yet to <laughs> fail us. And that has stuck with me to this day. Uh, we are apparently, he's apparently trying to ambush us for repairing the uh, ambush repairing us his problem. Hurry up and do it. Yeah, like just just casually walk on up to us and all that. And it's okay, we got all day. I know, it's not like we can, you know, prepare an ambush for you. Uh, 
Where's the second group? Come on. Yeah, it's like they're taking their sweet time. If they're going to ambush us and try to kill us, just do it. Yeah, just get it over with. Jeez. Stop slacking. Okay. Now we have to defeat Karatek. The boss, who is obviously the physical strongest because he's the captain. Yep, clearly. Alright, come on. Whoa! There's that low gravity again. Yeah, that was that was the something. And, and one of these the, guys have one, psychic powers. Yeah, I was, I was actually just about to mention <laughs> one of the gimmicks of uh, Remans as a enemy race is that uh, they do uh, psychic attacks, which tend to you. just straight up bypass shields. I said, "I'll get him up, Blue Lady." Okay, we've we've killed him and have saved the day. I'm sure we'll have somebody come take care of these uh, weapons of mass destruction. Well, no, because he, he didn't die. He just warped back up to his ship. So we had better chase him to yeah, ours. Fine. He ran away like a pansy and have saved, we've saved the day. Well, we'd better uh, blow up his, his escorts here. That is what I think of your heavy plasma torpedoes, Rhinos. I think of a giant rip in space. That sounds so, good. I think? Sure. Okay. It makes sense to me. Uh, as long as it makes sense to you. I guess I won't complain about about it. Of course, they're now firing them at me again. Of course, is you're not being nice to them. They're shooting at me. If they want me to be nice, don't shoot at me. Then there's a fifty-fifty chance I'll be nice. Yeah, you would. I, I am. Yeah, well, I maybe. I know you. Well, there's another wave of these. Mm -hmm. Quite a bunch of these uh, frigate class, but it's because it's the two of us. But thankfully, I mean, you know, fr frigate class enemies die pretty quickly, and. Yeah, they do. The as as each one dies, the actual threat level of the entire group dramatically goes down. Mm -hmm. They're a bit more maneuverable than me. Just just a bit. Yeah, I'm. Not a bit I, more maneuverable than you. Spending, but... Yeah, I mean, after spending so many years playing as a playing as slow cruisers even though I actually level to max level as an escort I I have a hard time going back to the more uh, the, the more uh, hit and run style of, of combat yeah it, it's it's definitely something that uh, I, I, I need to get used to again. Kill your shins too. No, other one. Oh, it's problem with tab targeting. You gotta kind of cycle through them. Uh. Also, uh, that was actually kind of amazing. I managed to shoot down their torpedo with my torpedo. <laughs> that is actually pretty amazing. Yeah, and STO has a small issue with um, some of its auto targeting. Um, it's, it's it's more that if if you have like auto target attack attacker turned on, then trying to do some of the support things can kind of be broken. Mm 
We beat him. Yay. For goods, hopefully. Yeah, he has, he has been destroyed. Yep, he has been destroyed. Victory is ours. And we need to report back as to how Hobus was destroyed and how we are amazing people. Yeah, kind of big news, learning the origin of one of the greatest tragedies of the last hundred years. Yeah, especially since they've have been trying to solve it for quite a while. Yeah, pa past 40 years. Oh, son of What did you do? I think the mission glitched on me. Oh, really? Yeah, it did. Meh. Nah. <laughs> what does it say you need to do? The whole thing again, but I'll worry about that later. The whole thing? Yeah. Jeez. I'll just follow you along on the next one. <laughs> All right. Now what console do Catch I want to take? Catch up later. Technical difficulties in MMOs. Aren't they fun? <laughs> Actually, you know what? There is a skip function, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. You can just use that because I've done the mission before. All right. Like just now. So now we are going to uh, go to the area where um, uh, Nemesis took place and uh, look up ghost ships. It's a ghost! Because this, this area is still flooded with Thalaron radiation and we need to go there and um, take some scans of it. Because, you know, that's that sounds like a great idea, right? Mm-hmm. I'm sure failure on radiation is completely harmless to squishy, organic, mortal beings. Uh, yeah. Sure. Well, look, Star Trek has really good radiation shielding. <laughs> Apparently. I actually recall an episode where they were able to pin pinpoint how many minutes they could they could hold out before the radiation shielding would fail and, and like kill everybody on the ship at the same time because radiation apparently worked that way. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's that is, that is in fact exactly how radiation works. Mm -hmm. Now we're in the Great Bloom system. Yeah. So something that's that's interesting is the um, if if you buy the three pack of the scimitars and have all three of the consoles equipped, not only do you activate the ability to shoot the, uh, the Thaleron weapon, but uh, if your ship is destroyed, you actually release Thaleron radiation around where you uh, where you blow up. And it lasts for a while, damaging any enemies that so are inside of it. it's essentially a giant middle finger to whoever killed you if they were close enough. That's right. Awesome. Oh, hey, we found uh, the ship Warwick. we were looking for. So let's see what happened to it. Oh, no life signs on board. Oh, it's Herogens. Oh, well, aren't they happy fellows? Yeah, they're just, they're just a bunch of jerks. I know, it's like, they were kind of interesting when they showed up in Voyager, but in this game it basically just makes them do a bunch of space gangsters. <laughs> I don't know about gangsters. No, not even gangsters, definitely... space, space, like, gangbangers, that's what I was looking for. Bunch of thugs just like to cause trouble for no reason. Just call their moms, have them pick them up. Yeah. Jeez. Mm. 
Where are you? You're not in range. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to yeah. actually heal you. <laughs> there we go. That's okay, though. Trying to actually uh -oh. be confident in my roll. Whoa. That's oh, okay. I mean, uh, STO doesn't really have rolls well, in the. In I the have the ability sense. to heal. I should use it. Yeah. Yeah, because the way uh, the way equipping your ship works in this game, you can yes, very basically good. set yourself up to do anything. It's just that there are some there there are clearly some ship types that are better for some roles than others. Like if you if you actually want to tank, you probably shouldn't be in an escort. No. But whether you want to do it in a science vessel or a cruiser is actually up to you because science vessels have more shields but less hull, whereas um, Cruisers have neutral hull levels. Sorry, so neutral shield levels, but more, but a lot more hull. And also, cruisers tend to have more um, uh, engineering uh, console slots, and engineering slots uh, tend to be where the um, defensive uh, abilities are. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, there are some uh, defensive ones within science as well, like. All the ones that boost your shields are sensor, are, are uh, uh, science, um, and not engineering. Whereas engineering is where they put all the um, the hull repair and uh, power transfer ones. Yeah. Well, technically, emergency power to shield is kind of a, a shield heal, but. Oh, it, it is. Like there are there are some shield heals in in, in engineer bridge officer abilities. Um, yeah, like uh, there's that one. Um, is that? That actually might be the only one. I can't remember if there's another one offhand. I don't know. Um, but likewise, like science has some hull healing abilities. Like hazard emitters is a uh, is a hull heal. It's actually a pretty good one too. Now we get to beam down to the ship with a bunch of dead people on it. And just see what happened to everyone. I'm gonna be really surprised it... if the Herodians killed them all. Dun dun dun. Uh, well, uh, initial scan showed no signs of weapons fire on the ship, so I don't know. The Herodians gutted them with knives. <laughs> but then how did they disable the ship? They gutted the ship with knives, too. Oh, clearly. Yeah, are we having one of those slow loading missions again? Uh, it's like possibly looking for a there instance for yeah. us to go into yeah there it goes so i haven't yeah, had that lately, problem since since romulus came out so yeah I, I i every now and then i've been having that issue but most of the time it's like when i'm trying to get onto my bridge uh it loads very slowly but i think that's because um they uh so there was a new transport ship that was uh, released mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, you transport ships. Yeah, you mentioned that. Um, yeah. So, but, but, yeah, so with the stuff that's on the transport ship, uh, there's kind of um, reason for people to want to be on their bridge. So a lot of people are on their bridges. So as a result, you know, not not quite as many uh, instances available. Mm -hmm. So it kind of makes sense that it may be a little slower to get onto your bridge. Uh, as opposed to pretty much any other map. And we're just scanning dead crewmen. He's dead. Yep. Jim. Your Who's name's Jim? not Jim. I don't know. I just felt I had to say it. <laughs> He's dead, Clark. Something's completely drained the neural energy from these people. Where have we seen this before? Where have we seen that before? Do I still have and that in thing? Fact, in fact, it's nice that the uh, your bridge officer actually calls out, Hey, you, we've seen oh, this awesome. before. Sack, changing what? weapon. Oh, the... Uh, my bridge officer I have with me has the uh, Ghostbusters gun. <laughs> but we got... We just have some... Uh, 
uh, Hirogen in here right now. Well, it'll be handy for later. Oh, well, maybe? Because now we're being told to go back to our ship. Weird. Oh, they're attacking us. Go figure. Yeah, because our ship can't mount an effective counterattack unless we are on board. To be fair, I usually take my competent officers with me. Uh, yeah, I guess that's fair enough. It's like, you know, you don't want the Enterprise doing stuff with card data and writer god. I don't know, that, that, that still leaves a lot of the important guys on, on the ship. Yeah. Or there's an episode, uh, I think it was Descent Part 2, where essentially the, the ship was crewed by Dr. Crusher and a bunch of, like, red shirts. <laughs> Which, you now, know... You, you, you know the chain of command is messed up when the ship's doctor is the one captaining it. Well, it's, it's less the chain of command more than everybody else was on a planet searching it. <laughs> they literally offloaded the rest of the crew. <laughs> Which, you know, brings up its own issues. Yeah. As to how that's stupid, but I, I... I forget if the circumstance... I think the circumstances warranted it, considering it involved the Borg and, and data going missing, so... Ah. Uh, well, it, there's, there was probably a good reason at the time. I feel bad for being able to remember specific episodes of TNG, like, by name. Why would you feel bad about that? I don't know, it's, like, geeky. Really geeky. Yeah. yeah, what's what's wrong with that? I don't know. Okay, yeah, coming coming to full stop is actually pretty fast with escorts. It's not quite as as zippy at, in a cruiser. But then again, cruisers are kind of designed to be constantly moving and uh, traveling in a circle. Mm -hmm. Circle strafe. Yep, they are very, very good at that. I'm good with science vessels, kind of middle of the road approach. Yeah, uh, the like the dual beam bank is basically designed for science vessels because yeah. of their uh, their their middle of the road turn rate, uh, which allows them to keep the front of their ship. You know, mostly pointed towards an enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, dual beam banks are so, 90 degree firing arcs. Yeah. Though on uh, my like on torpedoes. my Romulan science vessel, since they can actually mount dual heavy cans, I just did that because it seems to work out fairly well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That I mean, that works pretty well given, as well. Given that I've also got a load with abilities to slow things down. Oh uh, yeah, that would be pretty useful. Yeah, and the like the. A, f a few of the science vessels on the Fed side uh, at max level can also equip uh, heavy cannons as well. Like, if you really wanted to, you could toss some heavy cannons onto the Vestas. Um, I don't know why you'd want to, but hey, if you really wanted to. Because it has, uh, has hev cannons powered by auxiliary power. Yeah, yeah. The, the One of the unique uh, abilities of the Vesta is that it actually comes with uh, a set of heavy cannons that instead of taking their their energy from your weapons energy, they take the, their energy from your uh, auxiliary power. Um, which actually makes them fairly useful in a, in a number of situations. Uh, unfortunately, the Vesta is, is, ki is kind of slow for a... Uh, science vessel mm -hmm. so uh, using the heavy cannons is actually kind of a goofy thing to do I thought I had a full impulse activated Hang whoops on. come to save you yeah you know, it's just we got well not much, really. I mean, the Hunter Escort and two Seeker Frigates. Yeah, they're not hard, but... 
you're outnumbered. It's not fair. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I guess I am a little bit more fragile than you are, but not by much. No. Nah. Well, actually, I, yeah, if, if it's a fair amount because I think you have like a so escorts tend to have a modifier on whatever shields they have equipped of uh, 90%. So whatever the default rating of the shields that they're equipping is, uh, an escort will have only about 90% of that by default mm -hmm. uh, on their stats. Whereas a um, whereas the um, uh, science vessels is, if I remember correctly, uh, 1.15. Uh, it's 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 either 110 uh, percent or 115 percent. So you definitely have quite a bit more shields than I do, mm. and a fair bit more hull, even if your hull is not quite to the same level as a cruiser. So now the great hunters are attacking a defenseless ship with a completely dead crew. Yeah, what a bunch of jerks. Using their battleships, no less. Yeah, their stealth battleships. They stole that from Romulans. Yeah, yeah clearly. I mean, I mean, they are working with Romulans after all. Yeah, actually, given that they probably it was probably less stealing and more was given. Although, for all we know, they may have they may have had them in Voyager, and we just are forgetting. I remember. I seem to remember them having like personal cloaking devices. I don't remember if the ships could, but I yeah, don't I mean, recall they, they, that they many definitely have episodes. They definitely have personal uh, personal cloaks. I kind of I kind of uh, wound down from watching Voyager after like season four for whatever reason. <laughs> All right, so now that we took care of those, we better go back onto the ship. And uh, continue our investigation. Yes, into the mysterious things that drained neural energy from them all. Yeah, it's Davidians. Of course. We're supposed to spoil the surprise. Well, they, our bridge officer just told us. Yeah, sick. I'm equipping my Ghostbuster gun again. Alright, so we need to find subspace force field components. Wherever they may be. You know, there's, there's not much to the map that we're on, so they got to be around here somewhere. Yep. I'm just gathering stuff. See, what would be amazing is if we managed to find Samuel Clemens on the ship. <laughs> Going back to that original Davidian episode. Which I don't remember super clearly. I just remember it had Samuel Clemens and... Uh, Data and Guinan in the late 1800s for whatever reason. Because time travel. Yes. I mean, it's just not Star Trek without time travel. Are we? Are we lost? Are we not finding it? No, no, I'm, I'm finding it. Okay. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, I got an accolade. <laughs> yeah, if you scan those boxes, that's amusing. You find you find that they've been collecting temporal samples, so no wonder they came into contact with the Vidians. I scanned the scanners. Yeah. Insert yo dog joke here. <laughs> There should be one more Possibly set over of here. parts, right? Yep, should be that right there. Okay. And we need to go back to uh, engineering and set up our uh, our force field. This is very delicate work. Let me do it. Yep. <laughs> jump. I jump, think jump, I'll jump. help. Let me know I'm completely 100% competent. I, uh, you know, I'm not saying you're not. 
I'm just saying that it'll it'll go faster with the two of us. Oh, actually, it doesn't seem like it will because I think you have to do it uh, in order. We can go stand by the other ones if you know where they pop up. Yeah, that's, that's, I thought I was going to go yeah, in the other direction, but I was apparently mistaken. Okay, we've now jury rigged a force field. We have to destroy subspace wormholes. Uh, oh, there we go. You guys Ghosts. are assholes. Go away. <laughs> and we we will destroy these portals with the application of weapons fire. Yes. So this mission predates the the series with them, right? Yep. Yeah, so normally this actually would have been the first time uh, we would have engaged. Uh... So I, I should say, I shouldn't say normally, but yes, back in originally, uh, back back in the original release of the game, this this would actually would have been the first time we would have seen and engaged Davidians. Uh, the dialogue for the mission actually did change to accommodate the fact that. This is not actually the first time we've seen Davidians now. Mm -hmm. That's why our bridge officer actually was able to both say that the way those people died seems familiar, as well as say, "Hey, uh, you know, we're dealing with Davidians. That's that's some pretty weird stuff." It's a good thing I held on to my Ghostbuster gun. Yeah, I guess no, it's, it's, okay. it's a good thing the Ghostbuster gun is also uh, uh, levelless. Yeah. It's it's it is a pretty handy gun. Sacrament so gather also... loot while we're oh. uh, doing this important work, destroying subspace anomalies, to stop the invading aliens who drink brains. Yeah, <clears throat> that's, okay. that's okay. I'll just I have my priorities just... straight. Yep. No problem. I'm just gonna be over here setting up for uh, this last batch. Okay, I'm here. Let's shoot. <laughs> Yep, and there we go. Excellent. We've cleared, we've cleared the ships of Davidians. Well, except for that one right down there, which we'll just leave alone as a as a uh, warning to others. Okay. There's no murder him, but sure. He will return to his people as a warning. Yeah, I guess you can't really like mail the head back, given they're, you know, kind of incorporeal. Yeah. Uh, so now we got some Romulans here that are wondering why we went and we went and killed their Herogens. Well, maybe the, he maybe because your Herogens were assholes. <laughs> yeah. So now we got to blow up a bunch of Romulans while also destroying some Davidian portals in space. It's like, if you want to know why why we killed the Herogen, maybe I should ask you to spend about five minutes in a room with them. <laughs> the funny thing is, I think if you count the, the actual crew on these ships we're blowing up, we've probably killed about a thousand people in this mission. Oof. You know what? Yeah, probably. Actually, probably <laughs> a lot more than that. It's like, I think, uh... Like, we've blown up quite a few larger ships. Yeah, only SDO had, like, yeah. a, a kill counter in the bottom, like Dynasty Warriors. <laughs> that would probably get a little crazy. That's the Star Trek way. Yeah, yeah, that is that is exactly what I expect when I can't come to my Star Trek MMO. Gene Roddenberry would be proud. Yeah.
Yeah. They shot first. It's legal. This is, it was self-defense. It was self-defense. We were in the middle of a war. Yeah, we're in the middle of a war. Not with these guys, but... Well, actually, we... Well, actually, I guess we're not really in a... We're, we're not in a technical with war with... with Romulans. The Romulans. I like how that portal explodes like a ship. Yeah, portals I, do that. I th think that was a minor bug. A hilarious bug. Oh, that that too. I mean, bugs bugs can be hilarious as well as minor. Will not fix too funny. Yep. So as we continue to blow up the Romulans, our death counter probably mm -hmm. hit about 2,000, I guess. These yeah. Davidian portals also have shields for some reason. They're shielded portals. <laughs> they're, they're something, all right. Don't question it. They're, they're portals. They're, they're Davidian portals from neural energy-sucking incorporeal aliens that can time travel. <laughs> I do like that essentially in this game you loot data. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you that, loot, that like, is actually vague astronomical concepts. Yeah, like, the the stuff that you gather for crafting is always kind of goofy. I mean, yeah, it's goofy yeah, in other games where it's like, oh, uh, you know, a bat nail. Yeah, but but this time, like, yeah, you are Fecal you are gathering a goat. You you are gathering data from anomalies, and that's and that's basically what it is. But in the end, it's, it just comes out as like weird random stuff. Yeah. Like I said, you you were gathering abstract astronomical concepts. It right. makes sense. Uh, and the last one's. Last one actually is probably up the way we came. Because we should have seen it. Can't they put their portals in a more convenient location for us to blow them up? Yeah, or at least, like, mark them all. Jeez. Yeah. How inconsiderate. My yeah. goodness, yeah, here it is. Okay. The vegans are assholes. Herogians are assholes. Franklin Drake's an asshole. He's not in this mission, so I just felt like saying that. Yeah. But, I mean, he is, so, like, what do you, what do you expect? Yeah, so you can't sue me for slander on that. She, he'd probably no, take it as a compliment. He'll, he would probably give us a shitty mission, though. Yeah, he'd still take it as a compliment. Oh, maybe. He seems like the kind of guy who'd revel in being seen as a jerk. <laughs> yeah, he kind of does. He, he's not quite so upfront about it uh, as a uh, Federation character, but when you, if you meet him as a um, as a Romulan, he is actually kind of straight up an ass to you in some of the missions. And there goes the last portal as it explodes. Yay! We have saved the day once again. Yay! Goodbye, Davidians. Hope we never see you again. Oh, oh maybe there's some weird. Fine. All right. What what have we got going on now? Oh, it's another Romulan ship. Yeah. Two of them, in fact. Like I said, these, these older missions get kind of grindy. Yeah. 
especially on the the Fed side. Um, it's like it, it, it just yeah it it could have been a lot better. Um, it's uh, I guess the most relevant game to to attribute to would be like uh, Project Cross Zone reinforcement syndrome. <laughs> It's yeah. I I, I remember, uh, I I remember a lot when I was playing through these, uh, playing playing through the Federation story, uh, for the first time, uh, thinking that man, they've done a good job at making these missions feel like an episode of a show by making them as long as an episode <laughs> of a show. Hey, now to be fair, because I think we've only been playing this one for about thirty minutes. Yeah, I I mean. Fifth, for the most part, in this go, series, counting commercials. Yeah. for the most part in this series, we have been able to do two missions in a uh, roughly sixty-minute block. Yeah, and honestly, that's about the same time other series have taken us. Just these kind of feel longer because it's a lot of a lot of combat going on. Yeah, and um, even though there there are more and more difficult enemies um, because we are in a group. Uh, we are dealing with the enemies significantly faster than uh, we would if we were solo. But that um, uh, that resolves that mission for for some reason. Yes. Well, we solved the problem, then we just blew up the extra ramen for, for dessert, basically. Yep. Um, so next time we uh, get to deliver medical supplies to a, a Romulan colony. Ooh. We get to be, you know, upstanding citizens and aid workers. Of the galaxy. Shit. And before that, but, I'll uh, go back and actually do that mission that didn't work for me. <laughs> but yeah, but uh, that will do us for uh, this week. Uh, well, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.